on this map. Funny that. Get that weekly horizon armor precious stuff going on. We still got the uh, the inevitable playing in the background. It's probably the last episode for now, anyway. We will have them in the future as well, but uh, they don't have enough music for it to be... Uh, I think I went over this in the last episode. It was like moments ago, but my memory right now is not the greatest. Also, I'm being overwhelmed by zombies, you know? Can you really blame me? Hello, get out of here, please. I don't appreciate your existence. Ooh. That one felt good. Like, that one sounded good. You know? Like that, that pop in his face there. I'm not sure why, but... Uh, that one there, it sounded better than normal. It was a super pop, you know? Like, oh. It was, it was a good one. Okay, we're gonna go for headshots on this guy. Headshots, I swear. One of these days, I will, like, be able to compensate for the recoil a little bit better. I feel like I'm overcompensating quite often nowadays. Or, uh, at this point. More practice and I'll probably get it better. If I, like, try... Yeah, I'm kind of, like, shooting... Pulling it down a little bit at the start there. I'm, I'm overcompensating right at the start. I get it after I spam a little bit, but at that point, it's already too late, you know? Uh, so we'll go for the dual night M1911s again. That worked out pretty well last time. Just gotta find some ammunition. I don't know this map that well. Uh, I believe I had an episode where we tried it very briefly, died, and then went on something else. <laughs> um, so I, I, I still don't know this map very well. But it looks like a pretty cool map. I like it. Don't know what we're doing on it, but... Uh... Can't pull on that, nothing happens. It's okay. I really want some ammunition with uh... Okay, that's not a noise that I want to hear when I only have dual M1911s and not much uh, by way of uh, ammunition for it. I mean, these guys aren't too bad, but it's like... You know, I'd rather just not have to fight them in the first place. Come on, please, please. Let's get some space here so we get a little bit of spot to... Ooh, where do we go from here? This way? Not bad. We get a bit of ammo here. That's good. Nice. We're doing, we're doing fine on ammo. We're good. We're good. We're good. I know there's 59 shots. We're fine. For what? Tomatoes. That's my tip. For what? You just, you're like, how do I... How do I, you know, fix my marriage? Tomatoes. That's my tip. Uh, it's, the, it's like flex tape, you know? Prove it to be slightly more effective than placebo. I think I unmuted a little bit too quick there. We'll find out in, in post, won't we? Ooh, we're underwater now. Look at that. Uh, so we are going to go for the center fire. It worked out fine last time. We're going to make sure that we fill up that, though. We don't need too much center fire ammunition. We just need some. We're taking out the odd uh, flesh pound, scrape, raider, you know, that kind of stuff. Oh, this is the last episode to record in this session. It's incredible. This is episode, what, 42? Whoa. That feels good. You know? Skip. I can't find any ammo. Let's do some right here. You gonna spawn some ammo for me? Yeah, you are. Oh. 
Hello, buddy. Okay, I definitely thought I was gonna make that shot. I didn't, and it really, really ended up being a, a problem. This cat's back in the game. You just die, please. I don't like you. You're gonna follow me anyway. Because you suck. down here. This is where I died last time, so I'm, uh, you know, a little bit traumatized, I suppose, but we should be fine. It's not like it's a bad place to be, it's just, uh, I suck. And now I don't. It's, uh, it's fun to see, because, like, over the course of these videos, I've, I've definitely gotten better, you know? Like, episode one versus now, I mean, just the difference is, is stark. I'm a much better KF2 player than I was before. And I feel like it's because I'm, I'm actively making commentary about, like, what I'm doing and what I should have done and, you know, actively trying to improve myself instead of just playing the game and having fun. It's actually almost like a commitment I have to, to try and get better. And, uh... That like paradigm shift for me has uh, has definitely paid off. I feel because um, I am significantly better now than I was at the start. Come on, I say this, but I can't shoot this dude. Than I was when I started. You know, the first gunslinger run. The amount of misses I had is just to, to such a huge degree different from from what it is now, and that's uh, that's that's really cool to me. I, don't, I always really like that kind of stuff when you can when you can see like uh, an incredible difference in uh, in performance between you before and you now. Like when you're speed running or something like that, and you get you know just all of a sudden you're not getting times over like you know 30 minutes or something like that. Like you don't go above that time anymore, right? When you're just good enough that like a 29:58 is is like a normal run. Or like a bad run, even. Like a really bad run. I don't know, it's just, uh... I love seeing that improvement, that, that stark difference between uh, where you used to be and where you are now. And since I'm watching all these videos back, I've watched every single video I've uploaded. Not after I've uploaded it, because that adds to my view counts and I don't like cheating like that. Um, sometimes I like just have to watch it. I, I don't have a choice, okay? When I add something and I want to check how it looks on the, the page and all that, like, I, ha I have to look, okay? I don't have a choice. But uh, I try to avoid it as much as I can. There's only cloakers following me and I don't feel like shooting them right now. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Because this feels, like, good. And before, I would have been like, man, this is getting, like, a little bit hectic. But, like, right now, I'm like, not really. You know? This is... This is fine. It's not necessarily because the, the, the Zeds that are currently alive would be causing me problems, but because, like, I wouldn't have handled the, the Flesh Pound as well. I wouldn't have been able to handle everything else as well, and then I would have got overwhelmed, and it would have been hectic, but that's only because I would have been worse than I am now. That's fun. I hope it shows uh, to you guys who are watching, too. And, uh, you know, it's only going to get more and more extreme as time passes. You know, episode 500, how much better am I going to be then, you know? That's going to be so cool to see. To me. This music really doesn't fit Killing Floor 2, though, eh? I don't know. I like listening to whatever I can in the background. Aw, oh, he just brought him up. If I was closer, I think that the bullet would have made it to him in time. It's like I still got the time to, like, shoot these guys in the head when I'm being overwhelmed by them. You know, like, that wouldn't have happened, like, two weeks ago, even. 
which is, is all that I've been making these videos for at this point, but 40, 42 videos in three weeks. I guess I guess it's three weeks at this point, but for me, it's, it's two weeks. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit of a backlog. Oh, boy. I stay calm longer, I guess, is, is really what it boils down to. I'm not as panicked. Maybe that's because I'm trying to commentate at the same time, so like... You know, kind of just a natural... Oh. Bring it! So like, I'm naturally kind of just better at uh, not panicking because... When I panic, it's not very good uh, content. Or maybe it is, you know? Maybe that's the fun content to you guys. I don't know. But uh, it's not the kind of content that I necessarily want to be creating. So uh, I try to not act panicked, at least. And uh, kind of handle things in a calm fashion and uh, let them be. And that just is a better way to handle the game, I think. I would have never been able to like look at suicidal before on any perk and been like, yeah, I'll probably win. Like some something would have to go really wrong for me to for me to lose. Like I'd have to make a pretty big mistake. I'd never been able to do that before, and now I can. And that's just I like that. I'm not sure what difficulty this is on though. I think it's suicidal. Feels like suicidal anyway. Because that doesn't feel like hell on earth speed. But these guys do spin. They do their Beyblade thing, so uh, it's definitely not just hard, I don't think. I don't know what's up there. We're not going that way. We're going to keep going this way. So I know we can go down here. Pick up some ammo. Hey. Okay, sometimes I do get a little panicked, but I, for the most part, I feel like I handle things pretty well, right? Where's your head at, bud? Oh, no. We got a cloaker! Alright, this is, um, beefcake, isn't it? I knew it was, but I forgot that there was like a special thing happening with it because I've just been like it hasn't felt different. Cause I'm just I'm getting the headshots so consistently, you know. Feels good. Where's the scrake at? I wanna I wanna look at the scrake. There's the scrake. Hello, buddy. Wow, there's two of them. Oh boy. We have to we have to just book it here. Nice. Handled. Handled okay. God, just, just hit. Right after I'm talking about, like, wow, I'm not even noticing that it's beefcake, because I'm just getting the headshot so consistently. Like, it, it does. It does go to crap right after that. It's like uh, foreshadowing, you know? That's okay, though. Foreshadowing's fun. Comedic timing. Pick your poison, you know? You be dead. Pick your poison. For me, they're both fine. Yup. You got a couple of husks coming and a scrape. Oh, don't, don't, don't light the scrape on fire, please. Thank you. Oh, let's take the scrape out. Just two shots on suicidal. That's nice. Please turn. Fine, just die. Like they get destroyed. Gunslinger is totally Chad Slinger. It's nice. Last wave and then the boss. Hopefully we can finish it. I'm hoping we can, because that would be nice. Thank you. 
that get that extra Vosh crate, the Dosh crate, the Vault crate, the whatever it's called. Look, <laughs> talking isn't my strong suit. I just uh, hope to make a living out of it, or, or something of that nature. I haven't thought about it totally. Okay, that'd be nice to make a living out of this. I don't need too much money either, so it's actually quite doable. Um, like. Thousand bucks a month. If I were to make that, that would be like pretty comfortable living for me. So, where's the clip set? So if I can get to that point, then I'd be uh, pretty happy. And that that's like, you know, a much lower hurdle than you need to necessarily live um, normally. You know. So it could it could happen sometime, but uh, for now. We'll just keep on making videos because uh, I like it and uh, I feel good doing it because I get to feel like I've accomplished something. And uh, if, if the living ever comes from it, yes, I see the cloaker. Look, I, I see the cloaker. I'm going to toss out a nade. Nades are, these nades anyway, are probably really bad to be using on this difficulty, eh? Where's your head at? Because uh, it, it like does so many hits. Die. Oh boy, hello. Hello! Oh no, no ammunition. Doesn't matter. Because Gunslinger is Chatslinger. I, I was fed up with that one. I didn't want to. <laughs> Worry about the headshot on that. It's like, whatever, just kill it. Just, I'm done with it. Is that another Scrake? Or, uh, not Scrake, but um, Flesh Pound, rather? Yes, it is. And let's see if we can cut. Oh, boy. Oh. You're nothing to me. Okay, so all the Zeds have spawned. I think that's what that means when she says that's nearly all of them, right? Is that uh, all of the Zeds have spawned? Okay, see, he's not able to see me right now, okay? Oh, you can just jump. That's not. That's... Look. Scrake's right behind me. That wasn't fair, okay? wasn't fair. I take offense to that one. Is that another scrape? No, it's a bloat. It's like right here. It's, yeah, it's this one. Nice. Uh, we're not super rich at this point, but I think we're still going to go for the deagles, autofill everything, and upgrade this once. I think that's going to be our best bet for killing the boss. And uh, hopefully it's like the Abomination or King Fleshbound or something like that, because I'll be able to kill that one reasonably well yeah abomination we should be fine abomination dying or abomination killing us is yeah I've got bigger problems to worry about than that it could happen okay because I have bigger problems to worry about doesn't mean that it isn't a problem that I could worry about but uh, you know it's like well it's only the abomination And we're on Gunslinger, so like... Toss the nades! Nade it up! Break his armor down. I prefer using nades to break armor when possible because of uh, the inaccuracy of it. Like when I'm shooting, I can just, I want to aim for the head. Right? Like when, when, I'm, when I'm shooting, I'd rather shoot the head because it'll do the most damage, but uh, the nades, they're just going to kind of do their thing, so toss them out, see if we can't get some armor damage so that when we miss, we're doing more damage. Rather than, like, toss this, like, you know, intentionally miss, like I did uh, in that one medic run, although I don't necessarily disagree with that one either. Because as the medic, I think I would rather... I don't know. 
ultimately, you see a head and you click on it. Right? That's what this game is all about. And you do a lot of damage. Oh, boy. You do a lot of damage on the Gunslinger, so it's, uh... It's good. I think I got a stun on him. I think I did. Very briefly, but I, I believe I did. Oh, we took down his armor. We are getting close to out of ammunition on the Deagles. Just pop that into there. And we're starting to do a full route here, so uh, we are starting to get these little puddles, which are annoying. And these back spawns on these two, so... It is uh, a little bit problematic, but we are also pretty much at the, uh, the break point of this guy right now, so... so we just have to keep up the uh, this, and then even the shots that go into his belly are still going to be doing a, a sizable amount of damage. Yeah, there you go. That's how you do it. Nice and easy. I'm feeling generous. Nice and easy. Just give me, give me my 500, my 500 dosh stuff. Explode green everywhere. Look at that bit rate. Oh, yeah. Look at that bit rate. I haven't checked out my, uh, my vaults in a while. Let's go take a look at that. I'm not gonna open the crates. I'm still. I want to save up a bunch of crates. How many do we have? Let's let's check the vaults. It's been a while since I've uh, I've looked at the vaults. I don't know. I honestly don't know how much I'm gonna get. I haven't been doing too many dailies, so two. Oh, <laughs> so close! I want to save up a bunch of uh, dosh vault crates before I uh, start popping them. I don't know. Maybe like do a hundred dosh crate. 100 vault crates opening video or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Um, comment. Do all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.